Triple H Fitness. Welcome to Body Shaping. Today we're going to do three circuits and it's a, a superset format. Um, our first circuit has three exercises so it's not a traditional superset but we're still going to go minimal rest between those three movements. It's like you go from one to the next to the next. Okay. If you haven't seen these videos before guys, I'm going to work out in real time so it'll be like, a, like almost like a little fitness class and this is a total body workout and really just I just, we just want to shape and firm the body a little bit. Um, if you don't have weights, guys, and if you have weights, use them. If you don't have weights, I'm going to use some just basic household items to kind of get through this routine. Okay, So let me give a little list of, of some things you want to grab. Uh, for this particular routine, guys, uh, I'm going to use about four gallon jugs. So you'd want maybe two to four gallon jugs. Um, as an alternative, you may want a couple canned goods off to the side too. Okay, so if an exercise feels a little heavy, you could go to a, a canned good. Um, guys, you may want a chair for a couple of moves, so have a chair handy that you could pull in for the workout. Um, also, guys, I'm gonna do um, uh, some chin-ups. I have an I-beam here, so if you have a pull-up attachment, that's great. And listen, I realize a lot of you um, pull-ups are just just too challenging right now and that's not a problem we'll show and we'll show a row with gallon jugs that you could do as alternative okay um, also guys we're gonna use a I'm gonna use a backpack as opposed to like a kettlebell or a dumbbell or a barbell I'm gonna do a goblet kind of like a front squat and I'll use a backpack so I've got a backpack over here guys you can put anything in that backpack to accumulate weight or you could just use gallon jugs, one or two in each hand, and maybe maybe that's plenty, okay? Only reason I'm using the backpack is get the weight just a little bit heavier, and I can kind of hold that backpack similar to holding like a like a kettlebell, okay, and then go through my squats, all right? Um, guys, I, I think that's all you're gonna need. So you can gather those items, um, and I'm gonna put the first circuit on the board. And again, it's three exercises, guys, but we're trying to go minimal rest between, short break and we have three sets of that so three sets of each of these three small circuits right um and guys i'm using an i-beam for this for my chin-ups and again there will be a bent over row option that i'll show for you so i'm going to use the chair for that and also guys that that, that beam kind of cuts into my hand so i don't normally wear gloves um but i'm going to just wear those wear some today I've got my sons over here, so I'm gonna wear these today just for those for those chin ups. I'm gonna keep them on, I guess, the whole time so that I don't have to change them all off. So, but I don't think you'll need gloves, most people. But if you're using a steel I beam, you 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 may want something just to kind of cushion those those fingers just a little bit. All right. So, guys, let's get started. Here we go. I'm gonna lay back, guys. We're gonna start off with a low plank reach. Okay. So we're simply gonna get on your forms. I'll move these out of the way. And we're gonna get about eight to 10 of these if you have a hard time reaching, okay? Just hold the low plank while we go through these reaches, right? So, a um, couple tips on these. Keep the hips square and really try to reach, don't shoulder arm, try to reach and hit that front wall, okay? So let's get these, let's get about 10 each way, all right? So we got a low plank here, guys. We're gonna start this workout out. I'm gonna try to keep my hips square. I'm gonna reach and set. One, reach, I'm trying to get my hips square. Two, reach. Okay, that was about 10 guys. Kind of got the core, got the upper body a little warm. Now, I'm gonna take these gallon jugs. This could be canned goods or could be dumbbells. And we're gonna do fly and then alternate one arm press. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab these gallon jugs. Bring them in tight to your body guys. Don't start out wide with this. Uh, you want stress out the shoulders. So if you look at I've got the gallon jugs at my side. I'm gonna bring them up. They're here guys. And now I'm gonna do a fly motion. So I'm just gonna arc out. My elbows are soft. I'm arcing out. I'm gonna come up and then I'm gonna do a press. Don't let the elbows get too wide. One fly. Two
before. Chest should be getting kind of warm. Ten. Bring them down to the side. I'll set them right here for my next set. You guys, I'm coming up. Now for these chin-ups, guys, you can use a chair for a little, just a little bit of assistance, okay? So this is kind of a superset format, so we want to minimize our rest in between. So I'm just gonna reach up here, guys. And I'm just going to use a chair just lightly to rest one foot on. I'm going to flip it over and then one. Three. Four. Okay, great job. Great job. I'll slide this off, guys. One down, two to go. All right. I'm just gonna take a breath. I'm back to my low plank and reaches. All right, I think I'll do the jugs right here for the fly press. So we're here. Reach. One. Reach. Two. Reach. Three. Reach. Four. Reach. Reach. Don't sag. Seven. Reach. Eight. Great job. We'll roll over. We'll grab your resistance, whatever that might be. Squeeze those pecs. I'm going to tighten the chest. All right. And guys, even though the weight's not super heavy, I could really feel that. Feel that chest working. So we're up, guys. And now we're back to either our bent over rows or our chin ups. Slide that over. Themes out very comfortable. Here we go. One, two, three, four. But it works. Good. And guys, this foot on here, I'm just kind of rested on there, but it's great if if you're just starting to do pull-ups, it's a great way to kind of you get just a little assistance so you can get through that range of motion. Alright? Let me slide this off to the side. Guys, this is a pretty, pretty quick workout. It's gonna go pretty smooth, we're gonna hit the whole body. Let's go back, guys. Our third set of these. Plank reach. <clears throat>
bring them tight to the body, no strain in the shoulder, bring the weights up, press the weights up, and now we can go wide, and you're trying to contract the chest every time, one, so contract the chest, and then contract, contract, two, Yes, those feel pretty good. Okay, we're gonna do chin ups. Bring these back in place. Okay. Remember, light tension, that foot, put it on the top. There you go. off to the side. Okay. Okay guys, this next one is one we've been seated before if you follow these videos, but we're gonna do a rear delt fly. Okay. So um, we're gonna try to just bring the elbows kind of going up a little bit. So I don't want the elbows going backwards where you're flexing the lats. Elbows are going kind of almost like up toward the ceiling, okay? So we're gonna do those and then we're gonna do a standing Arnold press, which we've done that a few times over the last several weeks. Uh, kind of like that movement, easy on the joint. And guys, this could be, this could be a canned good in each hand. Okay, I like dumbbells when you go to do these rear delt flies. Okay, and we're going for around 10 to 15. Okay, just a nice smooth motion. All right, guys, I'm gonna grab these. And here we go, guys. Let me know where one, two, three, four. With the dumbbell, you get your palms facing the floor. My shoulder's a little funny, so that angle feels a little better. I was holding it super set here, guys. So I'm gonna grab, again, a couple gallon jugs in each hand. We're gonna stand up, guys. We'll get 10 to 15 of these. Bring them up, elbows in, tight to the body. Palms facing you. Drive up high. One, two, three, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, guys, those are tough, tougher than they look. All right, so I'm gonna shake them out for a minute. I'm gonna get a little sip. That's it for this set, guys, just those, okay? Two more sets of that. I'm gonna get a quick drink. Three. 
stretch your shoulders out for a second. It's a superset. So we'll grab these. That was in front. And we're driving up. One. Two. Okay, those burn. Setting them down. Shoulders are getting a little tired here, right? Go give yourself just a moment. Maybe up to a minute. Shoulders tiring, even with just guys, I'm just seeing a couple gallon jugs for the presses, and only one for the rear delts, but they're tired. Here we go. <clears throat> Barney presses, here we go. Set these down over here. Whew. Shoulders tired. Okay, so guys, we've kind of hit the upper body pretty good. Shoulders are just exhausted right now. Time for a lower body. We're gonna do, I'll throw it on the screen here. We're gonna do a back lunge, knee high, Toe reach. Okay, so we're we're adding. We've done the toe reach a few times with the back lunge. So we're gonna add a just a a high knee with that just to generate a little more balance. Listen, you can do this, guys, with a wall to your side. Okay, so the leg that's stationary, that's the side you want to be against the wall. So you can hold on to the wall, put your hand against the wall, hold on to a chair if you need to. Okay. Hey, no need to wait for this one, guys. I don't think. You, you could if you wanted to on, on, on that reach side if you wanted to add a little, but it's really going to work that posterior chain that glutes the hamstring, so don't need a lot of weight if you're going to do it at all. I'm going to use body weight. All right. So we have a lunge, high knee toe reach, then I'm going to grab my backpack. You could grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell or do a front squat with a barbell, but then we're going to do squats. So we're going to do 10 each with the lunge, high knee, toe reach, 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, and then we're gonna superset those lunges with a front squat, right? Or goblet squat. <sighs> Guys, you ready? I talked too long, here we go. 10 each way. So the leg that goes back, guys, I recommend you bring that arm forward to help your balance. So I'm gonna bring my right leg back, 
right arm forward. So on a nice good lunge, use my front leg, drive up, high knee, one. You can reset, lunge, high knee, two, reset, lunge, high knee, three, good, four. Great job, guys. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Other side. Here we go. Lunge. High knee. One. Lunge. High knee. Two. Lunge. Three. Lunge. Great guys. Ten each and I can feel that posture chain working. Let's get 15 of these squats. So I'm gonna use a backpack. We'll bring it up. Let's get these legs engaged again. Here we go. Legs are a little tired. Let's go back. Another set of lunges here, guys. Here we go. Guys, I believe that's nine. One more on this side. Okay, shake them out.
Good jobs. Feeling those a little bit. Fifteen. A little sip of water here. All right. <clears throat> okay, back to lunges. Here we go. Switch legs. Squats. Okay, guys, let's sit off the side. Guys, that was our third set on our third superset. So that concludes the workout. Nice work. Guys, hopefully you felt that body working from the beginning with the chest and back to the end with the legs, that posterior chain, the squats. So a pretty good workout, really hit basically the whole body. So hopefully you enjoyed that, guys. This is Jim with Lee Fitness. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll continue to bring wellness to you.